Subtainal Buff here, and I'm here with another Exclude tutorial for you today. Um, in this tutorial, uh, in fact, this is really simple. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I've got a request for it, so I'm just going to do this quickly. Uh, it's really easy. Um, basically, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a image file uh, to make a custom button. So this button is going to be a send feedback button, um, and the user is going to click it to send feedback. Um, now, I'm not actually going to give this button an action, but I'm going to show you how you can set the image uh, in a round rec button so you can make a custom button. So let's start a VBase application. And I'm going to call it custom button. Save it to my desktop. And here we have the uh, image. Uh, may I just say this is really simple? I don't know why you requested it, but here we go. Um, it's just quite literally takes 10 seconds. So uh, drag and drop your uh, image into your resources folder. I'm going to copy items in. So there's our image. And now I'm going to open the uh, view controller, I do XIB, and interface builder will launch. Um, and now we can simply just add the image. So we just get a round rec button, and we come into our media set tab in the library in our interface uh, builder. And you'll see there's our image. So we just drag and drop that onto our round rec button. And there you have it. The image has been set in the uh, round rec button. Now, obviously, we have to resize it. So let's go ahead and do that um, until it's right. And then in the Inspect tab, you're going to click on the Attributes button, and you'll see uh, in Type, under the Type bit, it says Round Rect, or Rounded Rect. Let's select this and then click Custom. So now the button is just the Custom button, you don't see the white bit anymore. Now you just resize it to how you want, so you can make it small if you want, or you can just keep it the exact size it's meant to be. And then you just put it wherever you want, I'm just going to put it here. And then you can actually uh, link an action to it from the files owner. And now I haven't sent actions, so obviously we're not going to see anything here, but I could connect an action, an IB action to this button, and use it as a proper button. And then we just save that, and uh, if we just quickly build and run, uh, we should notice that we can see our custom button. There it is, and you can see, you can actually click it, it's properly clickable. And you can see, uh, even if you don't add two buttons, like a clicked version and a non-clicked version, um, as you can see, Xcode automatically adds like a CSS effect. So when you press it, it goes dark. I mean, let go, it uh, comes back properly. So um, obviously, you get a nice. Uh, the user gets a good feeling that they actually press the button nicely. Um, so there you have it. Um, sorry, this tutorial has been kind of rushed, but um, it's just because it's so easy to do. So there you have it. So that's how you can set a custom button um, in Xcode, and you can do this for iPhone, iPod Touch applications. Um, you can do it for uh, iPad applications as well, it, will just, it works on all of them. You can use it in universal applications. Um, for example, here's another thing you could do with uh, making custom buttons. If you're going to play a video, you can make a video still, which gets you know appears like as a little picture of your video. And when the user pr presses that, it goes into the video. Something like that. So there you have it, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching this Xcode tutorial. I hope this helped the person who requested this tutorial, um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.